Roger. It's still sounding good. Yeah, um, you're you're just as clear as a bell on me. All right, now flip over to AM for a second. All right. How about it? You got a copy? Uh, affirmative. Go ahead. Yeah, man. I said this earlier. It's the AM compared to the FM is so Mickey Mouse sounded. I mean, it still sounds good, but um, the FM. I mean, wait till you hear the audio quality on this little radio, man. It's um, it's really clear. So that's the only way I can put it. Okay, it sounds good. What else you want to do? Come in on the needle, or at least get close enough so you can see the needle, and um, tell me what am I reading on you right now. And I'm going to whistle and see if this thing's got forward modulation. <whistles> audio, audio. Yeah, swinging from a three to about a seven and a half. Hell yes. Um, this amp is set up right, man. Um, that's what I wanted to see right there. And um, I'm dead keying with the radio. I'm running two and a half watts driving the amplifier. Um, dead keying 40 watts and swinging about 65. Okay, that's good. Roger, it's still sounding good. Yeah, um, you're, you're just as clear as a bell on me. All right, now flip over to AM for a second. All right. How about it, you got a copy? Uh, affirmative, go ahead. Yeah, man, I said this earlier, it's the AM compared to the FM is so Mickey Mouse sounded. I mean, it still sounds good, but um, the FM, I mean, once you hear the audio quality on this little radio, man, it's, uh, it's really clear, so that's the only way I can put it. Okay, it sounds good. What else you want to do? Zoom in on the needle, or at least get close enough so you can see the needle. And um, tell me what I'm reading on you right now. And I'm going to whistle and see if this thing's got forward modulation. <whistles> audio, audio. Yeah, swinging from a three to about a seven and a half. Oh yes, uh, this amp is set up right, man. Uh, that's what I wanted to see right there. And um, I'm dead kid. With the radio, I'm running two and a half watts, drive the amplifier, uh, dead key of 40 watts, and swinging about 65. Okay, that's good. Alright, this is not a bad little radio. Now, right now, I've got it set up for a two and a half watt dead key at 95% modulation on the AM. And perched on top of this, I'll zoom in here. I've got a small MOSFET amplifier. It's made by a company called RM Italy. And the model number is KL-203P. On a dead key, I got about 40 watts on AM. It'll swing to about 60 to 65 watts with the modulation. That's more than enough for the mobile, especially if you're only five or six miles apart and you're talking mobile to mobile. And it's more than enough if you're talking mobile to base. Uh, I don't believe in having gobs of power in a vehicle. You just don't need it, not unless you're trying to run competition. Now, you heard the FM and the AM on it, and I'll tell you what, the FM is superb on this. So there you go. I just wanted to show this radio to you. Oh, one more thing also. Um, they don't carry these stateside. The first one of these that I seen was on a YouTube video. It was in Europe. And the guy had one. And I kind of liked the sleekness of it and the way it was set up. So what I did is I went online. And the guy that was talking to me just a minute ago, um, we found these radios through Alibaba. I ordered three of these from a Chinese source. It took about a, about a month to get here. He's got one of them. And I've got two of these. Now, he was talking to me on a different radio, but, um, you know, like I said, this is what I'm using here in my mobile, and I'm more than happy with it. you got to be careful when you order from these Chinese companies. Check them to make sure they got a good reputation. Now, these yo-yos here, when they sent this radio to me, um, they had the automatic noise limiter switch wired up backwards. I'm going to point this out to you here where my finger's at. When you turn it on, and it shows that it was engaged over here. It was actually turned off. I just left it like it was. I did not feel like going inside of it and tinkering with it. But I did do a modulation adjustment on it. I set it up the deviation and the modulation on it. And set up the dead key on it. And set it up so it was good for my applications here. But other than that, that's all I had to do to it. And it's got a couple of cool features here with it. Not that it really means anything to me. But you got all these different color screens. And then you can turn it off. So I never turn my radio off my mobile. I'll leave it run 24-7. And what I do is I can just reach over here and turn the display off. And, of course, it's got the ugliest color in the world right there, red. That, to me, that is just uglier than ugly. But other than that, it's a good radio. So um, you can look this up for yourself. Just go back to the model number that's at the beginning of the video if you want to check it out. And really, for what it is, guys, I'm pleased with it. Now, another feature it has with it. It's got the channel selection right here. You've got the down and the up button right here to change the frequencies or change channels. 
Now they've got something called automatic squelch control right here. This uh, ASQ, it sucks. Okay, when you when you kick it in, it's, the squelch is too tight. I probably could go in there and adjust it out, but I'm not going to because what I found out is I like using it for a mute. When I'm riding down the road, if I get a phone call or whatever I need to do that I need to kill the sound of the radio rather than turn the volume down, I just reach over and tag the button on the microphone right here and it's a done deal and it pretty much just quietens it down. So there it is guys, Flash 001 USA and we be off the key.